Let's take arranged marriage, for example. Like people say, what's an arranged marriage? It's like an introduction, like if you die, you know this bird? Yeah, I know what, mate. I'll introduce you, mate. Same thing. He said, sometimes that bird's your cousin. <laughs> How are you going to let your parents choose a woman for you when they can't even choose a jumper? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll grow into it. It will stretch. Because <laughs> a lot of white people get all moralistic about arranged marriage. You know, That's disgusting, mate. How, How can you do that, mate? <laughs> what did you do last night, Dave? Oh, I got laid. <laughs> Who with? Don't know her name, mate. <laughs> so I had for you to bone someone you met five minutes ago and not marry them. I'm going to have an arranged marriage. I'm going to arrange that shit myself. <laughs> With some white women. That's my favourite flavour. <laughs> but what would a white woman react to if she was in an arranged marriage situation, you know? I spoke to this woman right, called Jane Fielder to try and help me out with this. This is me. Prince Raj, in my beautiful British palace. <laughs> so I invited Jane to bring her daughters Amy to experience some of India's finest culture and rich traditions. She had no clue. I mean arranged marriage. <laughs> she, she is perfect for me. Really? Perfect. Do you mind if I spend a couple of minutes talking to your daughters? Mm, I'm just going to get myself the water. Okay? Please, okay. help yourself. So you are do, doing good job, you got a good flat. Yeah, I got a flat. A boyfriend? No. No, no boyfriend. single still? Single. Well done. Why to be? Why, this is the way I like it. Yeah, why to be? your mother tell you why you come here today? Um, something about Nanny Betty, I think you used to work for your mom. The, the main reason was the dying wish of my mother was to meet you. Oh. And now we have met Everything is coming to place in the universe. <laughs> and a uh, couple of things I want to give to you as a gift. Okay. My sister is here, Gita, and she's prepared this gift for you. Aww. Uh, Gita! <laughs> Especially for you. Ori chori, ori chori, man beli bat mori. Beautiful. Very nice. Oh. You know what this song means? Is it like a family thing? This song is about this girl from the Essex who meet an Indian man and they get married. I also have one more present for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Especially for you, Shall I put it now? Please. You like it? Yeah, thank you. If you put it on the tables and then you concentrate, I put your hand on the top. Can you feel the energy going through you inside? <laughs> this means you will become pregnant very soon. Oh, no. no, no. Should you put your hand back? I'm going to be pregnant. <laughs> you don't want to be pregnant? Not soon. Very soon, because you've already touched it. <laughs> my last gift to you, it was my mother's dying wish for you to meet me and for us to formalize that meetings. <laughs> if you would like to please take this contract. This is for you. May. Marriage. <laughs> this is a contract for our arranged marriage. Uh, Money yours? Yes. <laughs> This is why your mother brought you here, and it was a dying wish for my mother for me to get married to you. Because of the family connection. Okay, can I have my mum in here first? Your mother has already signed it at the bottom, as you can see her signature. <laughs> she has agreed to this, the whole, your family has agreed. Next week, we will fly you to India, and we will get married. Can I talk to my mum, just for a second? This is like the TV show, Take Me Out, but only one option. Me. Okay, I'm, just, I'm not going to sign it until my mum gets here. I, don't, I didn't know nothing about this. You don't like me? No, it's not that. I didn't know nothing about this. I've got my other life. But I love you. <laughs> We've known each other how many now? Long time now. Ten minutes. You should get married. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me just... I think it's your mother. Let me just... Hello? 
Okay, one minute. I can't talk at the moment. I'm talking to my wife, new wife. Okay? I'm talking. Sorry. Let me go and find your mother and I'll bring her. Okay, thank you. Just read the contract first, sign it, I'll come back and I'll bring your mother. Amy's here. Round of applause for Amy. Yes, sir. Do you actually believe your mum was going to sort you out and arrange your marriage to some Indian geese that you never met before? Yeah. Now you know how we feel. <laughs> you got pregnant yet? <laughs> that shit comes out white, there's going to be some trouble. <laughs> Not everyone reacted positively to it. There was one girl, right? When I told her she was a massive dowry at stake, I got this reply. But you have agreed to do this. Verbal contract. Yep. This is all the money. You have no problem from here. <laughs> we buy you all the zoo you want. Um, okay. As long as you know, I'll just be with you because of your money. Easy.